Jay Z to me is is, and I know y'all gonna think I'm crazy. Jay Z to me is an average MC. To me, I have never seen why people think that Jay. -Z Dead in hip hop conversations. Dead in hip hop conversations. We're here with Nike Wonder. What's good? Peace to the eight. Dead in hip hop. Today on Dead in Hip Hop. Be straight from the D. Bring you the latest on the hip hop minute. BK on the artist spotlight. And of course, the infamous dead end hip hop conversation. Keep it locked. Hip hop minute. Yo, what's up? This beat coming at you for the hip hop minute. This one, this is special hip hop minute for myself because I got to bring Detroit on the map. Eminem bringing the Grammy home to the D, winning best hip hop album at the Grammys. Also. E12 is back on the mix now. I got a new mixtape dropping April 12th. Make sure y'all check out for that. D12 back on Detroit. We on the map, baby. Also, Black Milk confirmed release date uh, for Random X. Guilty Simpson. That's Detroit too as well. Got to represent, man. Coming out in May. We got Willie the Kid too. The Fly. That's the mixtape is dropping now. Make sure y'all go cop that. Also, and then appreciate y'all for checking out uh, part one of the uh, episode, you know, so we got a BK part two interview coming up, and we also still got part two of three interview coming up, the Dead End Hip Hop Conversations. Also, check in deadendhiphop.com, check the website, if you want to get media, video, check it, if you miss some exclusive clips from the past webisodes, check it out, Dead End Hip Hop. Artist Spotlight. So I know you've been asked this three million times, but I gotta ask you again. Okay. Tell me about working with the legendary ODB. Uh, ODB, man. Rest Tell in peace, that. Russell, man. Yes, uh, I miss you, Russell. He was a great dude. Um, we, we were actually um, friends, you know what I mean? Like, uh, my man Sean uh, was really close to him. They like really like pretty much like best friends after Dirty came out of jail the last time. And you know, as their friendship got closer, you know, we were tight. He's like an older, like an older brother type of figure to me, Sean. So he was always like, you know, Dirty was feeling your shit. Like, come to the crib. Dirty only lived very close to me, you know, at home in Brooklyn. So I said, oh, yeah, no doubt, you know, of course, you know, I'll go see the, the man, the legend, you know. And so we met up and we clicked and shit, we were just real cool and some cool shit. And, like, we hung out for a while, like a year and change, even more before. I, I didn't want to seem like, yo, man, let me get a chill, you know what I mean? Right, right, we're kind right. of friends, you know, so I, I let it go. One day he was like, yo, Sean mentioned it to him. He was like, yo, why don't you drop on a joint with BK? We had this joint that Kanye's team produced, was Let Me Have It. So he was like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, like, no, no question, man, I got you, let's just do it. And he was so professional, and he's a great dude, and, like, yo, I'm real grateful to be able to work with someone like that, and be friends with him, more so friends with him than, than even the record, you know, he's a good dude, and I think a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about who he was as a person, you know, and he was a really great dude, and I miss you, Russell, and I don't know really what else to say about it. Especially as a writer, like I won't listen to what's going yeah. on because I don't even want that to creep up in my brain the wrong way and like influence me into thinking that this is what's hip hop. This is not hip hop. It's bad rap music. Who's in your deck right now? It's, good. it's rough. I don't really, you know, I try to keep it like, yo, I listen to like what I love and I was like, you know, Big, Big L, Pong, Wu Tang, you know, like I listen to dope shit. Maybe I heard it before, but I'd rather listen to that. Then I can't listen to this shit. <laughs> like I don't even. How about this? Like I don't even want to fuck Nicki Minaj. Like she makes me sick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like whatever that means. <laughs> you know, it's almost like when you get to know somebody, like they're prettier or they're uglier. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 By what yeah, she's yeah. doing makes her uglier. To me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she's fat ass, but she's just nasty because her music is garbage. And any girl who's coming up who wants to be a hip hop artist should not follow that. <laughs> Shit is fucking trash. Right. <laughs> you know? Go get like a Rock Ham album. 
You know? Yeah. It'll be good. You'll feel good about it after. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I feel that. To all you artists and hip hop heads out there, if you would like the opportunity to be featured on the show, simply join us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. We encourage any and all to participate as we build this community of hip hop thinkers and activists. Started dressing all black and was on the power. The, the, the album cover for the power album. So I mean, but who's the same? Who's the same? That, I don't know. Evolution, 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 evolution isn't that. always good because we remember Killing Will Ice T and they remember War and Peace Ice T. But but how are we calling it evolution though? It's like it's like I'm saying evolution. Okay. The word is subjective. It's like or what what you might see as evolution. I see as evolution. Thank you. you know, you could be evolving. That's fine, but but. You're not evolving if you're if you're if you're you know grabbing onto what's already hot and doing the exact same thing everybody else is doing. That's not evolving to me. Evolving yeah. is I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna change the game right quick. Right. And that's why I do appreciate Drake, even though I think he sucks. <laughs> he sucks terribly. I respect him 110 percent because he came out and he changed shit quick, quick off of one mixtape. That dude changed his life. He did, yeah. One mixtape. Even though yeah. I think the mixtape is terrible, but I look at it and I'm like, man, I respect Dang. him. I respect him 110. percent He, right. changed, he changed the musical landscape. He now, did. now he that's did. what corporate. That's what they're going for. They're looking for those guys. That's why you think. That's why you think we got Wiz Khalifa right now. You know, they're looking for those type of guys because you know because of Drake. But Drake, but Drake came out with the. In my opinion, Drake came out with the sole purpose of doing something completely different than yep. what's already happening. And that's why I can respect it. That, that's what hip hop is. That's what people were doing back then. They weren't trying to do what everybody in the world already doing. Yeah, that's why when you listen to the radio back in the 80s, you had oh, 13 love, different love types it. of hip hop on the, on same, the same station. radio station. Now you flip it on, the you same, the same shit. You get it, all, it, it all sounds the same. It's just yeah. different lyrics and different right. beats, but, right. but the, the content is basically the same. It's the same lyrics. Right. To me, when I listen to hip hop today, it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's like a broken record. Mm-hmm. But, and I think that's because if you hear your favorite MC, I'm gonna throw it out there. If you hear Jay Z say, "I'm a blueprint one more time," right. these other rappers coming up behind him say, "Well, he did it." Yep. Take these notes. Yes, why he's blueprint? Yep. <laughs> but is he the blueprint? He's the blueprint. He gave you an outline. He gave you an outline he did. of how. He's not the first. Hey, MC. hey, they mod- they modeled him and followed the followed the outline. But though. that man, you know, not what saying I mean, that it's good, but I mean, hey, Jay Z to me is is. And I know y'all gonna think I'm crazy. Jay Z to me is an average MC. To me, I have never seen why people think that Jay Z is the best oh MC of all time. Oh my God! I'm telling you, just like I don't see Lil Wayne as being the best no. MC in the world. Lil no, Wayne to me is a joke. Yeah. But yeah. I just don't understand why. Just because somebody tells you I'm the best MC in the world, you believe it? Fuck out of here! No. What happened with Jay Z? He was just at the right place at the right time. That's what yep. happened. When Biggie yep. died, yep. Tupac he died. He up. was like, oh, yep. yeah, he was like only it. one, like really just right there. And then he just stepped up and boom, that's when he blew Jay-Z up. Jay Z died. Guaranteed. Lucky. Biggie was living. That dude. Nah, he didn't have like that. If Big L was living, Jay Z would be. He was at the right place at the right time. He was. He got lucky. There was nobody else to battle him at that time. For now, he still right came. No, 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 that's right. Okay, he's black as No, I don't think he's black at all. No, I think Jay Z is average. I just don't think. I said average. I didn't say he was bad. Oh, okay. I can watch Jay Z, but I'm not gonna put Jay Z on. Like, man, you're the motherfucker. He's sad. God damn it. God damn it. That's what he said. I wish he didn't take him a nice don't fit. That's the best line ever. Fuck out of here. Come on. Hell no. Wow. No. 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 No.
I I respect your opinion. I respect your opinion. He may start my top 10. Because somebody told you he's the best. No, 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 no. Because I was listening to Jay before he became, you know, the blueprint. So, um. When we heard that, when he was still spitting. Yeah. Okay, so I, I think we need to get some definitions then. Right? Yeah, because I'm, I'm lost. Because I'm thinking when I when I think hip hop, I'm, I'm a little lost. So what are the definitions? What, what's rap and what's hip hop? So rap is music. So hip hop is a lifestyle. I think that's the way it's always been. That's the way we should leave it. Anything can be hip hop. That's that's just the way I look at it. See, to me, it's just like that. you look. I mean, hip hop is just a way of being to me. Like you cannot look at somebody and say. Then why do we have hip hop music if it's a way of being? Because to me, to me, to me, hip hop music can really be anything. It doesn't have to be rap. Like that's what I was saying before. Erica Badu to me is hip hop. Lauren Hill is hip hop. But Erica Badu ain't up there spitting bars. Was Bobby Brown hip hop? Bobby Brown is a hip hop yeah, mother. He was a oh. rapper. Bobby <laughs> Brown is hip hop. But 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 he's not a rapper. That's why that's why it's called rappers. It's not called hip hoppers. It's called rappers. <laughs> He probably could when he was high. He, could. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet he could kick some flow. <laughs> shit. He yeah, probably some of that trap music. I'll start a trap music. <laughs> I'll start that shit. Sure, all that shit, my All that shit. <laughs> Do y'all think like the mixtape game helped or it kind of hurt the hip hop? Because it seems like to me, it's like mixtapes are bigger than albums now. Well, I don't think it hurt hip hop. I think it hurt the sales. The now. sales? Yeah. Okay. okay. You know, but, but the whole thing about it is like people. I don't know if people gotta try harder or less hard to get hot. Yeah. Now. I, I, it's I, like I, now mixtapes are hotter than albums now. No, no, no. They are if the album is good. I think it hurt the game because now it's about doing it. You got a ton of mixtapes. You try. You actually try to say, okay, well, which one do I want to listen to? And it, it's just too much, man. How do you sort through the garbage? <laughs> it's cool. It's like it's like it's like online demo. It's like online demo. At least you just that's all. You ain't spending fifteen dollars of the money that you. Had to go deliver papers for her. At least yeah. you just go and you click in a couple buttons and you got a, a garbage dump. You just back into your trash can exactly. and call it a day. Exactly. But, but in the same sense, I feel that that does hurt hip hop. In a, in, a, in a small sense, I feel like it does hurt hip hop. Because a little bit because you have to try so much harder. Like these these dudes that are actually putting out mixtapes that are good, yeah. they might not get heard. Because, yeah. Exactly. Because you have 3,000 mixtapes floating mm-hmm. around. It's like, how do you figure out which one is good? You got to spend all day download MC Shoestring. You know, DJ Watermelon Seed, just Garbage. to get to the good shit. <laughs> and it takes yeah. you forever. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And I'm always looking for the next best thing. So for it's me, it's, 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 even, it's even more difficult because, you know, I, for one, have to listen to a whole album. I just can't. I got to listen to it in its, in its totality to see mm-hmm. what it has. Oh, so you're a 30? You listen to it? I, I can tell you songs and know. Hey, I can tell you if he's spinning or not. Like, J. Cole, you put him in and you can hear four songs. Four songs. Boom. Yeah. yeah, you put Gucci Man. I hear one song. I'm like, oh, man, get this garbage out of here. I'm throwing it. Lil Wayne, I'm throwing it. I'm like, this is nothing. He's, man, he rap about the same thing that everybody else talking about. And then you barely hear what he's saying. He can't talk. He sound like he got a cold when he's throwing it. I'm so glad he said that, though. Hold on, I'm so glad he said that, though, because that's a prime example of what's fucked up with hip hop. Gucci Man can talk. He's educated. You ever heard him talk in an interview? Yeah, I've heard him in an interview. Yeah, I read it. He can interview. talk about these raps. He feels like he has it. Plot's the same thing. He feels like they have to sound like that because that's what's hot. You have to sound like a damn fool to get a record deal. That's it. Corporate. No, that's them. That's them. That's them. That's them selling out. That's because of the kids. We have to take responsibility. We cannot keep blaming the white people. Yeah, but if he. Is what it is. I think but, but it's he's, 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 he's,